So we are live and uh, welcome to episode number one of my live blog. And my name is Ben, Benjamin Tolosa. And uh, for those of you who don't know who I am, I'm a stay at home dad, I'm an actor, I'm a photographer, I'm an author, I'm a filmmaker, and I live in New London, New Hampshire. So this is going to be kind of an experiment. I have everything here on my phone, uh, some guidelines of things I want you, I want you to know. And um, I wanted to... I wanted to vlog for three years now, and I did some vlogging in the past years, but it, it was very difficult to me to edit. Uh, so I know I love filming and everything else, but just uh, editing was taking so much of my time. I used to have a job about nine months ago, ten months ago, and um, I was a computer support specialist for nine years at a retirement community and then uh, after my second daughter was born her, her name is Hazel Autumn um, she's a year old now I decided to quit my job and just become a stay-at-home dad because uh, after childcare fees I was going to be making about 300 bucks a month and uh, we live an hour away from Hanover in New Hampshire it was just not worth it to wake the girls up every morning and travel for two hours back and forth and during the winter time with icy roads. So it just didn't make any sense to continue to work at a regular job. So my my wife works and um, so I'm uh, 40 years old and uh, this is the first episode. Okay, so I'm going to try to do this for one year. So let's see if we can get there. Um, so there's a, a few points I want to make to you right now. This vlog is going to be unedited, uh, experimental. And it's going to be a journey of my daily life for one year. So this is episode number one. So maybe I'm going to repeat a few things I already told you, but uh, just bear with me. <laughs> so... I want but editing. So I went to daily vlog for yeah for about three years. Just never did it because I didn't have the time to commit to edit. It's just editing. I don't hate editing, but it just takes so much time to get um, a good quality of video. So I just uh, decided, well, I'm gonna try in 2019 to do a daily vlog live, so that way I don't have to edit. But I still putting I'm putting something out there, and uh, when I'm uh, vlogging from my studio, so you're gonna get better quality sound and uh, imagery. So because I'm shooting now with the GH5S, and I have a nice light here that is gonna give me nice color rendition to my face and stuff. But sometimes uh, if I'm out or if I'm somewhere else, I'm probably gonna vlog from my phone. So the quality is not, not going to be that great. But anyway, my goal is to do it for a year and learn to get better in front of the camera and uh, to build the community, uh, get to know you and, uh, you know, get to know what you're interested on and uh, answer some questions that you may have if I can help you with anything that is technology. Again, I was an IT guy for nine years and so... Uh, any computer questions you may have. I'm also, my biggest passion is acting, is, uh, particularly movie acting. So I've been in about 30 independent movies. You can find me on IMDb, although some of those movies never made it to IMDb because in, in order to make it to IMDb, you need to send your film to a um, film festival. Otherwise, you will not be listed on IMDb. But anyway... Biggest movie I've done so far, it's a movie called Black Zombie American Invasion. It's the fourth part of a trilogy, so there's already three other movies made. And this is the fourth one. It's still in post-production, so hopefully now, this year, 2019, the director Gary Medeiros will release it. So, I'm looking forward to that. Um, so it, was a, it was a great role. It's a zombies movie. And it's a kind of a dark comedy too. So I love the character. My character name is Manny De Stefano. 
it was so much fun to to play it um so again i'm following my notes here on my phone and it's quality versus uh, i'm sorry quantity versus quality uh again so difficult for me to make a really high quality video daily you know i can do probably one once a week once every two weeks uh but it's very difficult for me with two girls i mean the our house is a chaos pretty much every day so it's not easy for me at least editing again it's uh, such a hustle so i hope to throughout this uh, time together for a year i hope to get better at this uh one of the guys i follow evan carmichael i think that that's his last name he said that he was uh he was finally confident in front of the camera after 300 and something, uh, something videos that he made. And again, he made, I don't know, over 2,000 videos right now. I'm not really sure, but um, so bear with me. So what else? Uh, yeah, being my, myself, I really want to be myself in front of the camera, in front of you, really. I want to talk to you, not like I'm talking to the camera, but as if I'm talking to a friend and... Um, so yeah, um, all I want to do with you is just learn and get better at what, what I love and hopefully help you with what you love. Um, fears and just do it. That's another item on my list. Uh, I wrote, stop being afraid to fail and just do it. You know, so many uh, reasons why we don't do what we want to do and it's just... There's always a reason why not to do it, and uh, sometimes it's easy to take action on the thing, on the reasons why we do things, the, do things that we love. I mean, we typically know the things what we we want to do, but it's difficult for us to to actually take action. So, finally, I'm 40 now, but uh, I'm fi finally taking some some action, and uh, I don't know the final destination of my journey, but. Um, I gotta start someplace. So, besides the movies, um, movies is difficult to get a, a good role, especially where we live. Uh, where I live in New London, Hampshire, the biggest city, the closest biggest city is Boston. It's an hour and forty-five minutes away, and uh, yeah, it's drivable. But as you can imagine, it's it's not the easiest thing to go and audition. Uh, many times a week again now I have two girls so anyway this is uh, kind of my my channel and my my way out of my house on a way um, so uh, one of the some of the reasons why I you know I always I was always delaying this is because uh, I was afraid to um, not too much to fail. I guess that, yeah, there is some, some fear about failing, of course. But other than that, I was afraid of my weight. It was uh, 236 pounds. Then I went down to 206. And now I want to go back. And now I'm back to 212, something like that. And I was always waiting. No, I, I got to be 185. And, and uh, so, and, you know, it's just uh, difficult for me to lose weight. So. I thought, you know, I'm just going to do it. Maybe I'll lose weight along the way. Maybe I won't. But in the meantime, I'm, I'm still doing it. So I'm still doing this, which is something I love to do. Um, being, a being a YouTuber. Uh, the other the other fear was my accent. I mean, I really do hate my accent. A lot of people tell me, oh, I love your accent. Your accent is great. I just don't like mine. I'm not saying that accents are bad. Um, some people, they have uh, an accent that is a lot worse than mine. Some people have accents that are much better than mine. And and again, it's about comparing myself all the time. Uh, if you compare yourself all the time, uh, you will find uh, reasons or excuses not to do the things you want to do. So... I said, you know what, I'm just going to do it. And uh, if somebody doesn't like my my accent, they're just not going to follow my channel, and that's it. So there's so many options, millions of channels out there. So there's room for everybody, I think. Um, having a reason, I wrote, 
Also having the rush and commitment to do it every day will force me to do it no matter what. So now I'm making a commitment to myself really uh, and therefore to you in a way to, to do this every day. So if I can't sit down here in my studio, I'm going to have to do it, take a few minutes every day and do it from my phone. Um, so hopefully uh, that will help me to get better over time and hopefully I will make it until January 1st of 2020. So a year from now, a year from today. Happy New Year, by the way, to everybody. I hope you'll have a very successful year personally with your health and in business. Um, and with your family, with your friends, I really do wish you best for this year. Um, what else? I wrote, unknown. I have no idea where this experiment is going to bring me to. Would it become more like a podcast? Would it be more like a traditional blog? Make Maybe a combination of both? I don't know yet, but together we will we'll find out. Again, um, I am sure that there are probably many uh, live blogs out there. I'm just not uh, not aware of uh, many. Uh, there is one that is kind of a daily live blog. Uh, it's not a it's not a blog per se, but it's an inter an interview show. It's one of the shows I I follow. Is just a show, Joe Rogan uh, uh, experience podcast. It's a podcast, um, but he's doing it so often nowadays that maybe sometimes he does two shows a day. Sometimes I think I've seen him doing two a day occasionally. But this is not going to be a podcast, but more like a vlogging where I'm going to tell you about my day. Um, so speaking of, of my day today, I'm going to tell you <laughs> a little bit about today, January 1st. Uh, I didn't start my year very well because uh, last Thursday I removed uh, my three wisdom tooth, wisdom teeth. And uh, so I was in, in some pain in the last couple of days. But last night uh, I was in a little bit of pain. So I, did, I brushed my teeth and I, then I rinsed. And something happened after I rinsed, rinsing with water and salt. I don't know if something got removed from the, because I took, I got the two, the first two, the, the top two wisdom teeth removed. Those were very easy and those never hurt. But the one at the bottom is the one who's been bothering me because it was growing uh, twisted. It was growing uh, on the forward direction, pushing all the other teeth and, uh, and so they had, you know, it took him about 15 minutes or so to actually remove it and break the, the, the tooth. So I I got uh, three stitches. So I'm not sure. But anyway, after rinsing, I was in pain and in so much pain for about 20 minutes until I took two Advils because I've also been taking Prozac. I think that's the way you pronounce it. But uh they haven't been helping me much, but the ad bills are the ones who have been helping me. Uh, so I took two ad bills, and uh, until that, until they took effect, it took a, a little while, and I was in pain, in so much pain. It was one of the worst, if not the worst pain in my entire life, just for, for 20 minutes. And then I used some ice, and I think a combination of the two helped me. So I was unable to sleep all night, basically. Uh, and then I was afraid to, I was afraid to sleep, I guess. And I was thinking, boy, I'm going to go to bed and I'm not going to wake up the following day. But, um, here I am. And, and anyway, that, that, uh, brought me to being awake until 8.30 something in the morning. So I am pretty tired and, um. But I survived. So that was my first day of the year. So I didn't start very well. Other than, you know, being with, with the family, we, being with the girls, with my three and a half years old. Her name is Brianna Angelina. And uh, with Hazel Autumn. She's a year old now. And with my lovely wife, 
Gelsey, she's 32. I think she's 32 or 33. Anyway. Um, but uh, other than that, uh, it's happy to be home with, with my family. And uh, so... Other than that, I am working on uh, still shooting a film. It's called The Street Photographer, and it was written by Jim Norman. Um, still streaming. Okay, good. Let me just check the the feed. Anyway, that will get better over time doing this checking, moving things around. I had some trouble with the sound before I started, so now I was able to repos uh, reposition the microphone. So I think the sound is, is good now. Uh, so anyway, if you guys see anything that I can improve, one of the things I see on the monitor is that this uh, four little uh, triangles around my face from the camera. Not sure how to remove that. If you know how to remove those specifically, let me know in the comments below. Um, I did look at the settings of the GH5S and couldn't really find anything. I pressed the press the display button on and off and just make other things disappear except for those four uh, triangles. So I have no idea how to remove those. I'm sure over time I will. I will figure it out and um, if you know how please let me know so anyway going back to the film uh, I'm shooting uh, I'm shooting as a director this is my third film as a director is called the street photographer It's the first time I'm shooting something I didn't write so this was written by Jim Norman he's a great uh, writer so it's a short film about a photographer who's on the streets and he gives free portraits if you tell him a story so that's the premise of the movie so I hope to finish the movie I I shot two scenes already and I have two main scenes left and I have a few other scenes a few three or three or four more scenes that are smaller scenes that I can I can shoot without many people uh, but the other two, I'm still, I'm still casting a few roles. So uh, anyway, if you're interested, let me know and send me your resume, and uh, I'll take a look at your your reel and your headshots and your your everything, and see if you fit that role. And I'll be, I hope, and edit the movie from the end of the summer uh, through fall and hopefully release a movie before the end of this year so that's kind of my goal for that movie so my other two films one was in 2011 2012 it was called patience another uh it was my first film as a director it was a short film and the second one was i for kill you i released it last year and uh i for kill you so it was uh was a very good experience with my buddy Walter. He's the protagonist, the main role of the movie. Did a great job. He's a great actor, and uh, you should check it out. Uh, it's not out yet to the public because he's traveling the film circuit, um, and it's gonna be there for a little while. But I will release it this year, uh, m most likely throughout my uh, YouTube channel. And uh, what else? So I think that's it for today. Um, I hope to feel better of my wisdom tooth removal. I hope to sleep better tonight. And um, I have a soccer game tomorrow at night, 6.30. So I hope to feel good enough. I'm feeling fine right now. I, I've been taking out bills. I took Tylenol today. Uh, switching that. See if that helps. And I took took the first ones maybe two two hours ago and so now I'm feeling fine I can I don't feel much pain right right now but 
Again, I hope to feel better tomorrow. I have you know, a checking appointment on the 3rd, January 3rd, and uh, I hope everything's going well. <laughs> they will let me know, but we'll, we shall see. Other than that, I will see you tomorrow, and I'll tell you more about what's going on in my life tomorrow. And um, I hope you liked this video. If you did, give it a like and subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so. And if you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. And um, I will do my best to answer them as soon as possible. And until tomorrow, I will see you back in this channel. And from my studio setup or from my phone. So that's it for today. Uh, Happy New Year. Happy 2019. And I will show you my, my girls at one point. Uh, I was tempted to bring uh, Hazel. She's so cute today. But I think you can see Hazel. Yesterday I did a testing video. And she's at the end of the video. So check that one out if you want to see how she looks like. She's so cute. It's boring. It's a very boring video because it's a testing video. So it's a lot of back and forth with my wife downstairs telling me how things are going. But at the end of the video, you can skip the first... I don't know, 15, 18 minutes or something like that. And you will find her. She's very cute. All right. Thank you again for watching and uh, happy new year. And I'll see you tomorrow. Okay. All right.